Well, good afternoon. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Lights Devotional. We put a little bit of a t- different twist on our devotionals the last week or so, and I intend to keep uh, doing what I'm going to do for uh, some time yet to come. So if you're not interested in my pathway to ministry, well, that's fine. Won't hurt my feelings one little bit. I'm just praying that my children, my grandchildren might pick it up and learn a little bit about what they didn't know or maybe what they've heard and forgotten because I just want to share some of my experiences that that has led me to nearly 53 years of pastoring now and I pray God will enable me to keep going a while yet. But anyway, we talked about the call that God had placed upon our heart and how we felt that call at a very young age. We talked about how we struggled uh, in some areas to fully yield to the call of God. And part of that struggling caused us to leave Bible college after one year, move to Kirksville, Missouri, back home with my parents. In the meantime, get married and have a little baby girl. And, and I came to a place where I fully surrendered to the will of God. And we made our preparation to move back to Kansas City area where I could attend again Kansas City College and Bible School. So we left off there yesterday, renting a little house down off uh, Shawnee Mission Parkway and and, uh, taking up our our studies at Kansas City College and Bible School. The wife and a daughter, it was a little bit difficult, but uh, we settled in and life became very routine. I did have a morning bus route, so I was up very early in the morning to run my bus route for Clark Bus Services. I'd drive my school bus over to the school and attend my classes, and then I would uh, take the bus back to the bus barn so the afternoon driver would have it, stop by the house and get a little bit of lunch, go to my custodian job at the, at the school district, and work from 3 in the afternoon until 11 o'clock at night. Just mentioned to Carol today, I don't know how she did, what she did all by herself, because I certainly wasn't home much in those days. And and yet Carol, uh, she's always uh, risen to the occasion, and I'm sure that uh, even though I wasn't there yet, she did very well. Uh, We did manage to have another child while I was in Bible school. Chuck Jr. came along. The Lord just so graciously met our need at that, but I guess that's another story. We were able to sell a 57 Dodge that I had for 100 bucks, and his hospital bill was 110, so I scrounged up another $10 and got him out of the hospital, but continued on with my schooling. And you know, life becomes very routine when you're in school, working your way through college, trying to be a husband and a father. Many nights I would come home late, have a term paper to do or some reading to do. So I was up quite late most nights. But, you know, when you're young, you can take it. And I seem to handle not getting all the sleep that I would like to have had and uh, just getting on with my life. There's some experiences that we had. I'm kind of debating on whether to share yeah, many of those experiences are not, uh, nothing that's probably earth-shaking or of general interest to anyone, so probably just tell you that we settled down into our studies, and, and this was our pathway to doing what God wanted us to do, and it wasn't always easy. We know that, like I say, life became very routine. It became to be a drag sometimes. And uh, yet I persevered because I was determined that I was going to do what God wanted me to do. So, (coughs) excuse me, if you care to follow uh, my story, we'll we'll be back tomorrow talking about uh, why I left school uh, to start pastoring. And so you tune me in and we'll go over that. Heavenly Father, thank you again today for the help that you've given down across the years of our life. Those years of preparing for ministry, those years, Lord, of trying our best to do what you wanted us to do. We just thank thee for the help that you gave. Bless us, keep us, help us to love and to serve thee in Christ's name. Amen. Well, I plan to see you tomorrow then here on the Lord Light's Devotional. Goodbye now.